What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, the network. And today's topic is section 3.26C, internal router, backbone router, ABR, and ASBR. This is a topic in the CCMP route exam, exam code 300-101 version 2.0. Let's take a look at the exam blueprint and see where we came from and where we're headed. I don't have hashtag lab every day shirt, but nonetheless, we are labbing. I am out here in beautiful Miami, Florida. I'm on vacation, and uh, I said I, I can't just do this whole vacation without doing at least a couple videos. As you can see, I'm in a, I'm in a like a patio patio area right now. But anyways, let's take a look at the exam blueprint. Again, this is for implementing Cisco IP routing. That's the exam code 300-101. I'm kind of going uh, back and forth between the recording in this, so. I will speak as if I'm going in the same order of the playlist. So we just wrapped up section 3.26B, the LSA types. I believe we're going to split, we split that section up into two sections. Today we are going to do, again, internal backbone, ABR, and ASBR. We're just going to describe them, move on to virtual links right after that. Again, so OSPF, there are four OSPF router types. As you can foreshadow, they are internal backbone, ABR, and ASBR. So let's start off with an internal router. An internal router is a router that is internal to an area. Let's go to these slides real quick. So an internal router has all interfaces in a single area. They are routers that are neither an ABR or an ASBR. They're just plain old router in an OSPF area. So if you take a look at an example, it's a couple examples here. We got this one that has two interfaces, that one and that one. He don't have any areas or interfaces that are on a border of a router, of a border of an area. He don't have one that take you to another uh, autonomous system. He just have both his interfaces in an area. Same thing with this guy, same thing with this guy. Those guys are all internal routers. Here's another internal router, that example right there. These two are internal routers, but they're also known as backbone routers because they are what? They are in the backbone area, which brings us to our next type of router, backbone router. Backbone router has all interfaces that are in the backbone area. They are routers in the backbone area, which is area zero. So area zero is also known as the backbone area. Obviously, they are called backbone routers. These two right here in the middle are backbone routers. He has an interface right here. That is an area zero. That interface right there is an area zero. Same thing with this guy. He has an interface in area zero. That's an area zero. And notice this interface right here is a different. It's an area zero, but it's also technically in another area. It takes you to... An external AS, which I believe brings us to our next topic, ASBR, Autonomous System Boundary Router. It's a device that is used to exchange routing information with another AS. It may be on the, it may be a router in the region or ABR. As long as a single OSPF device imports external routing information, it becomes an ASBR. So in other words, this guy, he is in area zero. So obviously he's a backbone router, but he's also on the border of a an external AS or an external autonomous system. So this could be a BGP autonomous system. This could be um, EIGRP. It's just another routing protocol. So that's what an ASBR takes you. I mean, an ASBR is. It takes you basically to another routing protocol, another AS. Finally, we have an, an area border router. This guy and this guy, as you can see, are area bone area border routers. So they border an area. So now, in other words, this guy right here, he borders area one, and he is on the border of area zero. He's also considered a backbone router because he connects to the backbone. He's not an, obviously, he's not an internal router. He doesn't take you to another autonomous system or a, like another routing protocol, like say, uh, EITRP. He doesn't take you to an, o, uh, an e, uh, RIP um, area. He just takes you to area one and area zero. So he is on the border of two areas. Therefore, he is an ABR. Same thing with this guy. He's on the border of area zero and area two. So he is an ABR, but he's also a backbone router. Again, ABR is a router that connects another area to the backbone. Routers between two areas, like the one between area zero and one, this guy right here, are called area border routers. Let's um, go ahead and fire up GNS3. We're going to use this lab that um, that we use in the uh, ASP, uh, a LSA and area types lab to kind of uh, experiment with the types of OSPF routers there are. All right, so we got the same topology here that we use for the LSA types and 
for the area types, rather. So if you take a look at this topology here, we got eight routers here, right? Several of them in several areas and some in, uh, they're just in several areas and some between, between areas and stuff like that. With what we just covered right now, which one would you say is an internal router? Pause it and think about it by looking at this. All right, we're back. So as you can see, if you look at this, we've got router one. That looks like an internal router. This is between two, so that's not one. We've also got a couple of these other routers right here. That's that's an internal. That's an internal. Uh, that's an internal. So let's go ahead and pick one of these. Let's go ahead and pick router six. That's an internal router since it sits in only one area. It doesn't sit in area zero, although it connects to a router that will give you information about area zero, which is this guy. So let's go ahead and pick router six and take a look at his characteristics. Show IP OSPF. What did we say the characteristics of a internal router are? We said an internal router, all interfaces are in a single area. They are routers that are neither ABRs or ASBRs. They are just plain router, just a plain router in an OSPF area. So that's an internal router. Router six is one. So let's go ahead and take a look at his, uh, we do show IP OSPF. Obviously he's only got one interface that is active, right? Show IP uh, interface brief. Let's run that as well. He's only got one up, up interface. The rest are like up, down and stuff and admin down. Uh, let's go ahead and show IP OSPF one more time and take a look at that. We can see right here, it says number of interfaces in this area. So one, uh, that's one way to kind of tell if it's an internal router or not. Let's go on and move on to the next one because there's not that many characteristics for an internal router. Which one of these guys, take a look at this topology and tell me which one you think is an Backbone router. Pause and think about it. All right, we back. You guessed it. Backbone is area zero. There's only one router that really sits in just area zero, right? What are the characteristics of a backbone router or an inch, uh, backbone router again? All interfaces are in the backbone area. Routers in the backbone area, area zero, are called backbone routers. So let's go ahead and take a look at that guy. So he, router one has this interface and that interface that sits in area zero. We'll go ahead and console into him. Here's router one, let's show IP interface brief. Let's go ahead and exclude the unassigned so that way we know which ones are assigned. Unassigned. He's got two interfaces. They're both up, up, right? We do show, uh, those are the only ones that are active. Show IP OSPF, SPF. And you can see the number of interfaces in this area, two. And uh, yeah, that pretty much lets us know area zero is the backbone router, although it says inactive, number of interfaces in this area too. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We got two more types and then uh, we'll move on to the next section. Take a look at this topology and let me know what you, which one you think is an ASBR or rather an ABR, area border router. All right, we back. An area border router is obviously a, a router that sits between two areas. So we look at this topology. We have this router right here. He sits in between area one and area zero. This router right here sits between area zero and area two. That one sits between area uh, one. So he's not, he's just an ASBR. So that's, I'm glad I caught myself there. He doesn't sit in two between, he's just an ASBR actually. I gave y'all the clue for the next one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the characteristics of router two, since he is an area border router. Console into him. So router two, show IP OSPF. Well, let's do show IP interface brief. We'll exclude the unassigned. You see, we got three interfaces there, right? Router two has those three interfaces two of which should be sitting in area one and one should be which sitting in area zero. So let's take a look at his OSPF characteristics, show IP OSPF. And you can see it says here, right there, area zero, one in area zero. And the other one lets you know he's got two in area one. Right there, it says that. Number of interfaces in this area, two. And let's double check the characteristics of an ABR. Again, we said an ABR is a router that connects another area to the backbone. 
routers between two areas, like the one in between area zero and area one, that guy right there, are called area border routers. So it connects another area to the backbone. It doesn't just sit in between two areas. So my bad about that. He connects you to area zero. He wouldn't be considered an ABR, as we mentioned before. He actually would connect you to a backbone. Well, he's not connected to area zero, so he's not an ABR. He is not an ABR. And lastly, which one do you think is an ASBR? I told you a couple seconds ago, obviously, is this guy right here. He is an ASBR because why? Because he sits in EIGRP. Actually, no, this guy sits in a uh, he sits in AS, EIGRP, but he also sits in, o, in OSPF area one. So he has an, a, an, interf an interface in EIGRP 100 an interface in area one OSPF. So let's take a look at his characteristics. And while that's loading up. We'll double check the characteristics of an ASBR and wrap this up. An ASBR is a device that's used to exchange routing information with another AS. It may be a router, a region, or ABR. As long as a single OSPS device imports external routing information, it becomes an ASBR. So let's take a look at him and wrap this up. Here's router 3. Show IP OFPF. Let's look at his interfaces. Exclude on the sign. He's got two interfaces, right? One is up, up. The other one's up, down. So maybe I need to bring that one up. Oh, because router 8's not powered on. So let's go ahead and power him on just in case. Power him on. Let's go ahead into router 3 and do a show IP. Let's run that one more time. Okay. Show IP OSPF. You can see he has only one interface. That sits in area one, right? What happened to the other one? Didn't we say we were talking about the other? Well, no, the other one is sitting in EIGRP route. I mean, EIGRP domain. So let's just, for the sake of this run show, IP, EIGRP interfaces. And you can see he's got one interface in EIGRP. So what about show IP, EIGRP? Can't even run that. So we know that one interface is in EIGRP. That kind of lets you know that he is an ASBR. That's all I got for y'all today. We're going to wrap this up. That's my YouTube page. That's my Twitter handle. Please comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for subscribing to the network, bro.